Well, it's great to have Wesley here, who, um, I, was it quite a smooth match, do you think, or uh, how, how would you sum it up? Uh, yeah, it went a bit better than I thought it would. Uh, Andrew is a speed specialist. I knew he was going to put up a good fight, and in a two-game match, anything can happen, especially if it goes to the Armageddon, where you have no increment. But uh, uh, it went well. It went better than I thought it would. I had some chances on game one. Not really sure how big, but mm, game two with Black was trying to play a solid position. But I had prepared this beforehand, this G5, H5 idea, and uh, Black had absolutely no problems. Yeah. Okay, thanks. So it wasn't about avoiding the Armageddon, because we were speculating on that, that you were playing very aggressively, taking as much space as possible, just to avoid yeah, <laughs> an I'm Armageddon face-off against Andrew. No, I had, a, I had a good position, G5, H5. This line is harmless for Black. The thing is, Andrew has played this London with Bishop F4 four hundreds of times. Mm -hmm. He's a very principled player who knows his openings very well, but he plays very limited. But I thought on the second move, White should play knight f3 first, and then after knight f6, then bishop f4. Because in the game, I didn't have to place my knight on f6, and I got this extra idea of f6, g5, and I knew Black has a very comfortable position. Uh, well, my strategy was, you know, to play solidly, and if you have to go to an Armageddon, then you get there. But it's very funny, actually, because to draw pieces for the Armageddon, the arbiter just makes you choose between two hands. And I always get white every single time. Now, I'm not sure if white is easier in the Armageddon or black is. But if it goes to the Armageddon, then it is what it is. But I really dislike playing without an increment. <laughs> yeah. And so we're going to show you a middle game moment. So this is where he's just broken out with c4, obviously. And how were you feeling when you saw the move d5 on the board? Well, I was actually pretty pleased because I had the bishop there. I had two pawns up, and I saw that after, I mean, I, d5 looked scary in the beginning, but I saw that I could always blockade the d5 by playing bishop d3. And uh, in the worst case, I just give my pawn back. And with the bishop pair, I had a very safe position. But in the end, actually, maybe he had some drawing chances here in the queen endgame. Uh -huh. uh, may, maybe he's, I mean, white is, of course, on the verge of losing, but his main blunder, I guess, was putting the rook on b8. He has to. Like, okay, but probably it's almost impossible to defend. Like after b6, king g5, he's, he couldn't stop h4 and his king becomes very weak and then the game's over. Maybe if he didn't play rook b6, uh, he probably should still lose in the long run, so I don't know. I thought rook f8 chase. But... That pawn was uh, very strong on the side of the board and uh, how, how are you finding uh, this tournament so far? I mean, it's probably a bit different to a lot of other tournaments you played in, right? It's very, very quick and you get a lot of time, right? Yeah, it's so much different. Uh, this is the only, this is the fastest tournament I've ever played. Uh, of course, the format's very exciting, it's double elimination. Uh, I like it because if you lose one, you still have another life. But it's the first ever format that I played in. I had more rest days here than games. Uh, before this tournament, I played the classical tournament in Dusseldorf and the games, you play nine games and the games there last five hours, six hours, every time, so. Uh. So, you, so you mentioned that you had rest days. I mean, what have you been doing? Have you been preparing? I mean, do you, do you bring up the old fashioned board at the club? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, we had some exercise. We took long walks in Berlin, uh, but nothing really too stressful. Uh, and then I took a quick look at my opponent's games and uh, yeah, actually, now that you mentioned it, we borrowed the chessboard from the head of the chess club here, like the tank, Mike. He lent us a very nice chess set, so I've been sparring with other players because I've been practicing a lot online, but it's very different working in the chessboard. It's yeah. so much better. Well, I'm still waiting for my uh, sparring request. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, I was going to challenge you yesterday. Huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I, I shouldn't have said that. When <laughs> you, you say challenge me, do you mean destroy me? Okay. <laughs> no, here. <laughs> but we, we can have a look at the bracket anyway and, and see see where you're standing now. And uh, so far, you're, you're uh, 
well, I'm going to say cruising through. It's not ever a cruise, but um, there you are, uh, and you're going to play the winner of uh, the match between Sam and uh, Andrew. I yeah, I was going to ask you your thoughts about this. Uh, what do you, who do you think will be victorious, if uh, I can pin you down to that, between well, Sam and Andrew? Well, it's hard to say because I thought Lanier was going to win today. Uh, because, but, but after my game against Sam, I've been watching his matches. He's, he's been playing and better and better. Like he, he did very well every single day. Like I thought he's not exactly a speed player as he keeps repeating, but uh, he seems to be improving day after day. Maybe he's doing some practice too. But um, it's hard to say. In a two game two game match, anything can really happen. Of course, Sam is the favorite and is higher rated and all that. Mm -hmm. He's the much more experienced grandmaster. But uh, if it goes to Armageddon, I give it a 50-50 chance. 50-50. And, and uh, when it comes to Armageddon, do you think it favors white or black? Um, <clears throat> it depends who you're playing. depends whether you get good positions in the opening. If you get good positions with black, then it's pre much preferable to be black. But uh, like we've seen in the linear game yesterday, he got a tremendous position right out of the opening with white. But I think five plus four is uh, favorable for the black side. It should for the be. black side, you, you think it's easier to be solid? Yeah, it should be. Yeah, just play fast moves and uh, try to even out in the clock. Uh, yeah, I think black should be preferable. But there are many different time controls in Armageddon. So. And have you had a, a favorite thing that you've seen in Berlin so far? Or uh, general sightseeing? Well, I love the Brandenburg Gate now. <laughs> we see it every single day. Yes, yes. famous landmark here in Berlin. And uh, the sparring partner, are, are you beating up everyone you're sparring with so far? Or are they giving you a good challenge? Uh, let's see, I've been playing some of the players who've been disturbing sparring in the hotel uh, here and there. Uh, I, yeah, I, I think it's, uh, it's good. You, you want to do badly on practice games and do better <laughs> in the tournament. So I was in college, I remember, 11, 10 years ago. And I remember we played so many Blitz games. We'd play from 9 in the evening to 12 in the morning. So those were the good old days. And uh, you know, I, I just love Jeff. I can play any day uh, the same time. You don't want to overstress yourself. Yeah. That's why, yeah. And you're so close to winning. Just one match left. Oh. How how would you celebrate? No, actually, today was big because mm -hmm. I think I qualified for the finals yeah. right in September. Yes. So that's all I'm really okay. looking forward to. And, and <laughs> but then, but then, the, yeah. the top two players in this competition, they, they qualify for the, the grand final. Yeah, that's all I'm aiming for. That's all really I'm aiming for when I come okay. back to Berlin. But okay. it's nice too because tomorrow I can, I have uh, some allowance, like I can go all out in the first match and then... Mm -hmm. And have, have you been monitoring your heart rate? Because we see that you start <laughs> quite high, I have to say, Wesley. Around yeah. about the 120, 130. You got, you got lower now. <laughs> <laughs> now that the games are done. It's gone even 100, up to 170. 100, <laughs> I think it did get up to 170 today. So it's, today? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, 170. I don't know if just the first day. I was. Uh, no, no, no. At no. one point, I think it went it went quite high. Are you going to call the ambulance? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting a little bit worried at the moment, weren't we? But um, I'm glad it's come back down again now. <laughs> so, yeah. You know. Yeah, the, I think uh, I played Magnus Carlsen in Norway three and a half years ago, and we were wearing this too. And I realized, I noticed that he has a very low heart rate, like 80s, 90s, and he maintains that. So yeah. not exactly sure, but yeah. I'm still quite young. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, seems, it seems to be working. <laughs> so, I, I wouldn't worry about it too much. You know, so mm -hmm. it's, it's doing the job. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we've only got this one match to go. And how are you going to relax tonight then? Playing more chess? Oh, I'm going to watch the replay of the Sam Shanks and then again, oh. and then your Dominguez. See what, and uh, yeah, I watched uh, all your videos also yesterday and I okay. really like the comments. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's about that. Yeah. Yeah, about yeah. that.
Also the part where you kick the child in. <laughs> <laughs> this, fam this famous part from yesterday which you ran her. I caught admitted. so much grief from that because they said, and you laughed about it too, but I was like, I was literally a child. So yeah, okay. <coughs> sorry about that. So he you have to look at highlights on YouTube. Uh, they're all on YouTube on the World Chess site. Just go there, have a look, and you can see when uh, Yovanka got a lot of uh, happiness from kicking a child. <laughs> yeah, also there's, uh, I mean, the time control is very short here. There's just every second is uh, exciting. You can't really miss any part. So. Definitely. Well, Wesley, thank you so, so much. Um, it's great to have you in, and uh, obviously, good luck and well done for, for qualifying. So that's, that's fantastic. So, yeah. yeah. Thank Brilliant. you so much. So, congratulations. Yeah. yeah.